I really hope that this information will help save you some frustration and money in the long run um, because it's something that a lot of us are guilty with um, guilty of and even I'm guilty of it and that's you know not getting all of our ducks in a row before um, setting out to get you know dental work done especially for those of us who need extensive dental work um, we put a lot of faith in the dentist and you know just hope for the best and it almost always ends up that we're shocked with something new it's like always something that we were totally unprepared for there are almost always going to be some kind of hidden costs and I don't understand that I don't understand why but please before you go beginning to get extractions and dentures and implants and you know whatever make sure that you know up front what all of the fees are going to be you know what what is not included in the quote you know what I'm saying because it could be something as obvious as anesthesia you know of course you need anesthesia who wouldn't need anesthesia for dental work and so we assume that that is going to be included in the quote and sometimes it's not so make sure up front because you know anesthesia could cost over a thousand dollars depending on you know what it is that you get and it's necessary so when you have fifteen thousand dollars set aside and then you rack up another three to five grand in fees and hidden costs i mean you're gonna go broke pretty fast so just make sure that you discuss this with the dentist i don't care how busy they are this is something that's coming out of your pocket one way or another. Whether you have a loan or not, you're going to pay for this. And, you know, people tend to think, well, $15,000, what's $3,000 more? It's a lot. It's $3,000. That's a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of money to just be hit with all at once when you're not prepared to spend that amount of money. So talk to the dentist and say it's not included in what I have budgeted that I'm probably not going to have the money. You know? So just discuss up front and say, hey, this is what I have. This is what I'm prepared to spend. Could you please let me know if there's going to be any other costs involved that I, you know, that we haven't discussed so that I'm not surprised the day of surgery. You know, because believe it or not, it happens. Um, not just, you know, what are you going to have to pay for the day of surgery, but like when it comes to implants, a lot of people don't know that the set that you're given initially will have to be replaced. Sorry, the sun is getting really bright out here and I'm starting to look like a dragon or something. <laughs> Anyways, um, for instance, Dr. Gulpa's office will give you a um, temporary set of bridges that will need to be replaced with titanium bridges you know three to six months out well that's from what I am told that's uh, that's included in the cost in the quote but what a lot of people don't consider is that the second trip out there is not you're gonna have to pay for your airfare and your hotel accommodations and your transportation and all of that and a lot of people don't know that you know they don't know that they're going to have to replace their first set of bridges with a permanent set and they don't budget for that kind of money discuss that with whoever you go to up front like i said whether it's dentures or implants you know what is the cost going to be initially what am i going to have to pay for right now to get all of the initial work taken care of what about six months out down the road maintenance what is the cost associated with what it is that I'm gonna have done because you would be surprised you know you think like especially like dentures a lot of people don't know that their dentures are going to get loose like very quickly after you have your teeth extracted and your gums shrink and and the swelling goes away things are gonna start to get loose and you're gonna need a reline and you're probably gonna need several of them well depending on who you go to like this hundred hundred and fifty dollars you know I've even heard more you know like I said depending on who you go to so let's say during the first three months you need two relines that could be three hundred dollars that you weren't prepared to spend 
that's something that you need to know up front. How much money is it going to take not only to get all of the work done, um, anesthesia and other fees, um, as well as how, how much you're going to have to spend in the long run on all of this, just so that you can be prepared. Because I do get messages. As a matter of fact, I got a message this morning from a woman who um, went to Dr. Golpa's actually, and she, you know she was going off of the quote of you know I think it was like fourteen thousand dollars or something. Oh my God! What? What was that? <laughs> I'm not scared of bugs, but like when they fly at me like that and I can't identify them, it makes me a little uneasy. Anyways, she went to Dr. Culpa's. I think that it was like 14000 somewhere around there, whatever he's got quoted on his um, website. But the anesthesia was not included, and that was another $1,000. And so no matter who you go to, you need to make sure you know up front how much you're going to spend because it can rack up. I mean, you can turn $15,000 into $20,000 like that and have no idea what hit you. So I hope that helps and uh, you guys take care.